Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this pin curl pixie look. It's not too hard to achieve guys so I'm hoping that you guys can follow along easily. So if you want to see how I achieve this style, continue to watch. So yes guys, it's not Nairobi. And I found this um, BB Formula Lotion that I had in my um, stash of hair products and I decided to give it a try. I usually use this formula lotion for my wigs, my curly wigs to bring them back to life when they, you know, the curls start to unravel and stuff. That's what I use this one for. But I decided to use it on my short hair and it's not working out guys. As you can see, like the hair doesn't even want to move like how it does when I use a Nairobi and I was having a hard time doing my mold with this um foaming lotion so I try So at this point I was just over it and decided to wipe it out a little bit and then just use my narrow bait. So I tried this one, I didn't like it. I'm gonna see if I could buy another foaming lotion to try out. Um, probably in the next two weeks or so and show you guys how it works compared to the Nairobi. You're gonna see the difference now when I use the Nairobi, how the hair is gonna move. The motion and how easy it's gonna be for me to um, wave the hair, as you can see. So the molding step is the most critical part of having a um, successful outcome with your hair. So I'm gonna take my time and do this. But since I'm doing like pink curls, I wanted to do like waves in the front and to like the middle of my head so that it already have that pattern of the wave so that when I'm ready to curl, it'll be easier for me to curl. So like I said to you guys time and time before, if you don't get it right the first time, I always, you know, try, try again, you know. I didn't learn to do this in one day. Um, it took multiple times for me to actually learn how to wave and get my hair exactly how I like to see to my likings. Now for the back part, I basically just wave based on how I place my fingers. Um, I wave and then place my fingers below the wave that I just created and keep going down that way. So now that I'm finished with the mold and got it how I like it, I'm just gonna take my netted wrap cap and wrap down my sides and sit down and need to dry for about 45 minutes. This is another important step, guys. You gotta make sure your hair is completely, completely, completely dry to have a successful style. Um, I'm also gonna take my coconut oil to add for a little moisture after I come out from my need to dryer. So now I'm just gonna break up my mold and start curling where I want to curl. Usually I don't break it up um, further than behind my ear right there. I usually leave the side without the bang. I leave that alone and don't break that up and then just curl from behind my ear going backwards. So since this style is pink curls, I broke it up a little bit further than I usually do. And now I'm just gonna start curling. <music> To get the pink curl look that I want, I'm gonna curl the hair first and then I'm gonna set it in place with my fingers and then just pat it in just so it could stay right there.
so here's the final look guys i hope you guys enjoyed the hair tutorial and you was able to pick up a little something from it and apply it to your hair routine techniques thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys like comment and subscribe and i'm gonna see you guys in another video take care bye bye